The Philippine Navy's offshore patrol vessel program continues to move forward quietly but consistently. There are no major announcements, no flashy ceremonies. Instead, it is through small movements at the shipyard that we can gauge the program's direction and tangible progress. The latest developments at the Olsen shipyard in South Korea now provide the clearest picture yet of the current state of the Philippine offshore patrol vessel program. The second Raja Salaman class offshore patrol vessel, the future BRP Raja Lacangela, hull number PS21, was recently observed undergoing an internal transfer within shipyard. With the assistance of several tugboats, the vessel was moved slowly and in a controlled manner from one sector of the shipyard to another. To some, this may seem like a routine activity. However, to observers of warship construction, this detail holds significant technical significance. The use of tugboats is the first indicator worth noting. It clearly indicates that PS-21 is not yet operating under its own power. Although the hull is structurally complete and the ship is floating, the ship's major systems, including propulsion, power generation, and navigation, are still undergoing installation and integration. This is further confirmed by other visual observations. Many of the ship's sensors, antennas, and external systems are still covered with protective shields. This is not a sign of delay, but rather standard procedure during the installation phase to protect sensitive equipment from environmental exposure, dust, and the risk of accidental impact. The construction phase currently underway for PS21 is known as harbor fitting out. This is the phase that bridges the gap between hull completion and the start of sea trials. During this period, the shipyard installs and integrates nearly all major internal systems. The main engines, electrical generators, power distribution systems, steering systems, ship management software, command room, and various auxiliary machinery are integrated into a single operational unit. All of these systems must function in synchrony before the ship is allowed to move under its own power. While visually far less dramatic than launching or sea trials, harbor fitting out is one of the most complex and technically demanding phases in the construction of a modern warship. Many later operational failures stem from rushed integration at this stage. It's important to note that even though the PS-21 has floated, its sea trials are still months away. Before the ship can leave port under its own power, a series of intensive tests at the dock must be completed. These tests include propulsion system alignment, full electrical load testing, steering system inspection and calibration, core software integration, and initial sensor and navigation system calibration. Only after all these parameters have been verified and meet safety and performance standards will the ship be clear to begin sea trials. Meanwhile, its sister ship, the BRP Raja Salaman PS-20, has progressed further. The PS-20 has now entered the sea trials phase, a significant milestone not only for the ship itself, but for the entire Philippine Navy OPV program. Sea trials are the phase where a ship truly proves itself. This is where the paper specifications are tested under real-life operating conditions. Maximum speed, maneuverability, endurance, stability, and system evaluations are conducted to ensure the ship's performance meets the contract. The success of the PS-20 in this phase 
also serves as an important benchmark for the PS21. Any technical findings during the PS20 trials, whether software enhancements or mechanical adjustments, will directly impact the final process of the PS21. With the PS20 projected to be handed over to the Philippine Navy in the first quarter of 2026, the PS21 is not expected to be far behind. Once the PS21 begins its own sea trials, the subsequent stages will follow a well-established pattern. Acceptance trials, final inspections, crew training, and official handover. The King Suleiman class offshore patrol vessels themselves represent a significant enhancement to the Philippines' patrol capabilities and maritime presence. These vessels are designed for long-duration operations, focusing on patrol, surveillance, maritime security, and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. Their size, endurance, and operational range allow these vessels to remain at sea for extended periods. A crucial capability for an archipelagic nation with a vast maritime territory and complex security challenges. What we're now witnessing in South Korea is not simply progress in shipbuilding. It is a long-term, gradual, and systematic buildup of maritime capability. From dockside installation, to sea trials, to final delivery, each step brings the Philippine Navy closer to a more resilient, credible, and sustainable maritime presence. With the BRP Raja Suleiman having entered sea trials and the BRP Raja Lacangela continuing to progress through the installation phase, the momentum behind this six-vessel OPV program is becoming increasingly difficult to ignore. These ships are not built for fleeting sensations or headlines. They are built for endurance, presence, and reliability in the Philippines' most vital maritime space. If you want to stay up to date on AFP modernization, new warships, and the technologies shaping regional security, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications. This is Modern Naval Development, one milestone at a time. Thanks for watching.